Hey YouTube, Alex here, Inch 95 channel. I'll bring you guys another video, uh, another deck check, deck check number two. Uh, the person we're doing today is Guitar Nuka 724 uh, I looked at his deck, it was really interesting. Uh, I know you guys have seen me do countless decks in the past similar to this. It's a zombie deck, so I'm just going to go right through it. Uh, normally I don't, um, just to let you know the guy, while I'm getting set up here, uh, the way you guys can send me your deck list for me to edit them, I pick them every now and again, um, probably like every month or so, maybe every two weeks. The way it works is you just PM me your deck list. Um, I don't really do side decks. I can probably do an extra deck, but it really doesn't matter. It's like you can just fit all the basic stuff you need in there. Um, the only st change I made to this extra deck is uh, I didn't. He he had a Flamville or a Quizas in here. Um, he didn't have a Chimera Tech, so I just replaced it with a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. I don't know why he didn't have that in there. So I'm just gonna flip right through it. Um, you know, Chimera Tech, Android, Cataster, Bryo, Goyo, Revive King, because you're playing uh, Zombies, Gaia Knight, Life Transfer, you'll see why, but he had that in there anyway. Black Rose, Double Stardust, Thought Ruler, Colossal, Red Dragon, and Mistworm. You can get out Mistworm really easy with this deck, um, just to let you guys know. So, I'm really good with Zombies, so um, you guys will see. First, I'm going to show you guys the deck without any of the changes. So, uh, yeah. Uh, dark Armed, it's a zombie deck, so he runs Darks, obviously. Gores, he runs it for protection. Uh, he runs two Kaiuses only. He call, By the way, he calls this deck Cyber Zombies, but we'll, we're going to take that whole aspect out of this deck. Um, two Cyber Dragons, that's the Cyber part. I guess he wants it as Tribute Fodder and Beat Sticks. Um, these are not Proto Cyber Valleys. These are supposed to be Cyber Valleys, but I got rid of mine. I can't find any common ones. Um, he runs Cyber Valleys. Um, we're gonna end up changing his whole, pretty much his whole monster lineup. Uh, plus, he runs too many monsters. Mystic Tomato, uh, Sangan, two Goblin Zombies, Mizuki, Zombie Master, Spirit Reaper, Plague Spreader. He runs three Divas and Gale for his tuners. Um, one sec here. Uh, just flipping back through these. For the spells, he runs Allure, Book of Life. Uh, burial, two book of moons, enemy controller, brain control, mind control, heavy storm, and mystical space typhoon. Um, I'm gonna. I'm first. I'm just gonna go through the regular uh, lineup without explaining anything. There's not really much to explain. Uh, this is just to help people with their decks. Solemn, starlight, call the haunted, two bottomless, torrential, mirror force, one deep prison, and one return from the different dimension. Now, the first, the easiest thing we can do right from the start is uh, taking out all the cards that we don't need. I'm just going to take them all out. Call the Haunted, too slow. You want all your cards to be playable. D Prison, I don't really feel it's a necessity anymore. If you're going to run something over it, run Compulsory, but you don't really need it. Um, it's not really that good. And Return, please don't run Return. I know he ran it probably because of Cyber, cause of cyber Valley's in the zombie aspect and burials and stuff. But on all reality, you don't want this because you already you can already pay half your life points with Solemn. And that's bad because this format with Infernities and Sabres running around and even some areas still have Black Wings or one guy's Eris hit after two of these, um, you're going to die. So you don't want to pay as much your life points. You have to be really wise this format. And these can be really dead at times. We're going to keep the Starlight Road in for good protection. Um, for those, we will add in um, a Trap Dust Shoot. You're supposed to run this no matter what. Um, I had a one tech choice in here, one dust tornado because we he, he does run only heavy and MST, but we're gonna add in uh, some other spells to get add more removal. Whoa, uh, weird burp. Sorry, I'm drinking Coca Cola. Uh, by the way, comment below for a fun thing what your favorite soda drink is. Um, Divine Wrath. I added this in because this is really good. I noticed a lot of um, 5K, uh, like a lot of the 1K, 2K tournaments have all been topped by the same zombie player running shooting Doji zombies. And I think this is really good to negate effects. You can negate Arch Fiends. Um, you can negate Rescue Cat. You can negate pretty much anything. And sometimes you need to discard in there to get your Dark Arm. So that those are the only changes we're making to the traps. Uh, they're all pretty standard, pretty obvious, except the Divine Wrath. That's a tech choice, but I think it could really help you out. I want you to try it out. For the spells, um, the only changes here we will be making is taking out two cards. We will be taking out enemy controller because it's not good unless your opponent gores you all the time and I know you contribute like your um, like your zombies and stuff but it's not really that good you don't really want to do that um, so we're gonna take that out we're gonna take out burial surprisingly I don't know why zombie players are running this honestly I think you're gonna have this is a dead draw at one it's bad because you're not gonna draw into it as often and Mizuki's at one so you don't really have much stuff to put back and with your cyber valleys that's not much there's not much, not much point there um, 
for those, uh, we will we will be adding in two gold sarcophaguses. Um, they speed up the deck instead of your cyber valleys, which are really good. Um, we'll also for the spells, we'll also add in um, a, another book of life because you get your zombies in the grave real fast, and cold wave and true nade for more back row removal because you only run trap one trap to shoot and he only has heavy and MST. And this is a really explosive deck, so you can search those out with gold sarcophagus, your dark arms, any other things you need, brain control. So that's why these are really good. You can really, ob like, they're pretty obvious. You can search them really fast, and they help speed up the deck, which is a really good thing. And you really want this deck to be as fast and consistent as possible, especially with zombies, because zombies, if you don't have a good consistent build, you're going to have a hard time there. So we're going to take out Burial and Econ. For the monsters, there's a lot of changes. Um... The first change is we're going to take out the two Cyber Dragons because the, this deck really should not be all about bringing out monsters in the Cyber Valley because, uh, one sec, what else are we going to take out? Oh, and the three Deep Sea Divas. The rest are fine. I'll show you guys those in a minute. The completed deck. First off, we're going to take out the Divas because Diva is not good anymore, honestly, unless you're running some weird absolute zero build. It's not good anymore, firstly, because he, he already runs, uh, he has too many, uh, right now he has five tuners, which is okay. But we're going to put in other tuners that are more effective. These are bad top decks. You want every card in, in this format to be playable in your hand. And you don't run Spine Gilman or Mermaid Archer. So that's not going to help. Um, you'd rather run the Teleport Engine, which is what we're going to be adding in. Uh, the Teleport Engine, we're going to be adding in uh, Teleport, uh, two Crab Bonds instead of the two Divas, and Psychic Commander as a tech. He works. You can go Black Rose. You can go other stuff much faster. Psychic Life Transfer, gain some life points. Brian Act. And these are almost alive all the time. You can run over a Laquari with uh, G and GBs against uh, against its GBs with Psychic Commander, and they're all tuners, which are really good. These you're gonna draw. If you draw two of these, it's not really that good. Um, so Deep Sea Diva's out. That's just completely out. I don't know why that was a choice, but I'm helping you out, dude. Sorry if I sound kind of rude, but this video it's gonna. I'm trying to rush through it because I'm, I'm on a really short time limit right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, those, those are the changes. Uh, for that part, as far as the valleys and stuff, you're, he doesn't he didn't run Chimera Tech in his extra deck, so that's why I put it in there. And if you leave any of these out and your opponent runs Cyber Dragon or uses your Cyber Dragon, you're screwed because you're not going to get a plus off of these. Another reason why, why valleys aren't good is um because all the Book of Moons running around this format, and you're even running Book of Moons, so that should tell you something. Um, with zombies are usually an, ex are an explosive build, and Book of Moons defensive, so even if you're running it, that's crazy. Because with Cyber Valley, if you if it gets booked and then they kill it, you lost out on so much. Even though it's kind of a minus for them, sort of, I really wouldn't always use a book on this. I'd probably, like, Kaius it or something, or, I don't know, just coming up with, coming up with stuff. But they're not really that effective. Um, Cyber Dragon is just a beat stick. You're not really going to use it. You should probably side it. Um, speaking of siding, uh, one sec, let me just finish this up. The last monsters that we'll be adding in, because we added in a couple more spells than we should have, um, the last cards we'll be adding in is Pyramid Turtle to help speed up. Um, and third, Caius, because we're adding in a Battle Fader, and Caius really helps this format against stuff you want to remove, and the extra burn damage really helps. And Battle Fader, he works well with Caius. He's another Dark. Um, he, he's another Dark, sorry. But Battle Fader also stops those OTKs, which can be really painful. Uh, while I'm getting the deck organized here, speaking of uh, side decks, um, these a lot of play people send me side decks, so what I'm going to do is at the end of every video... Oh, sorry about that. Kind of got tilted. Um, I'm going to put someone the side deck, not in the description bar, but like a video up here later on after this video has gotten like at least 500 views or so. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the completed product. The cards we took out are two Cyber Dragons, three Cyber Valleys, three Divas, Burial, Econ, Return, Deep Prison, and Call the Haunted. The completed product is Dark Arm, Gores, Battle Fader, helps a lot. You need Triple Kais and Zombies. Um, uh, Sangin, um, uh, Mystic Tomato, Pyramid Turtle, two Goblin Zombies, Mizuki, um, got Zombie Master, Spirit Reaper, Plague Spreader, two, uh, the Teleport Engine, uh, really helps a lot, much better than Diva, please run this, Gale, uh, two Sarcos, speeds it up rather than your Valleys, Allure, Teleport for the Teleport Engine, two more books, helps, uh, pretty much against anything, especially the Removal Factor, two books, Brain Control, Mind Control, Cold Wave, Heavy MST, and True Nade. Uh, all good. Obviously, you need all that removal. Cold Wave really hurts other decks, so that's why you run it. Uh, Dust Shoot Staple, Solemn, Starlight Road, to Bottomless Torrential, Mirror Force, Monster Removal, Dust Tornado, Backer Removal, Hot Tech, and another Hot Tech card, Divine Wrath. 
So yeah, that's the deck. Sorry I went through it really fast. Um, that's pretty much it. Alex here on Shiny Five channel. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. Peace. And uh, I'll have the deck here. Shout out to Guitar Nuka. That was another deck check. So uh, yeah, subscribe so I can make these videos longer and not run so fast so I can get partnership faster. <laughs> Later.